cancer patient walk out of despair and begin to help others with Cixi's long-term assistance. Qing'ai Music Orchestra from Renai Township of Nanto snatched first prize at the Sumakulande Festival in Vienna. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Siri Su, thank you for joining us. We begin today's program in China. Ziji is continuing to care for those affected by the flood in Hunan's Changsha. Many flood victims have returned home from the temporary shelters. More than 80% of the victims are farmers. Ziji volunteers visited these families and wrote down their needs to prepare for the next relief distribution. Accompanied by a Ziji volunteer, this flood survivor returns to her house, which had six residents. It's all in ruins, and even the field, which once raised vegetables, has been ruined. This family is now homeless and can only seek refuge in a cousin's home, which fared little better. All the furniture was soaked in water, now only the remaining mattress is propped up, with the family of four sleeping in it together. <laughs> Continue to care for Jiangsa flood survivors, Ziji volunteers visited one village after another to give their condolences to the affected farmers. Many are feeling hopeless in the face of this natural disaster. <laughs> While adults are busy rebuilding their homes, children are also hard at work doing recycling in this resettlement center. They are doing a surprisingly good job. What are you going to send me? One, two, three. Whoa, so great. Thank you all. Ziji volunteers are spreading love in this disaster area and helping flood survivors get back on their feet and rebuild their lives in Jiangsha. In 2015, Ziji volunteers in Indonesia met their care recipient, Jap Kyun Leon, for the first time. At that time, he was suffering from colorectal cancer, feeling weak and helpless. After two years of financial help and care from the volunteers, his physical and psychological condition gradually improved. He can now go outdoors to exercise and also likes to help other people. Let's take a look. This was how Jack Kim Leung looked like when the volunteers met him the first time. He suffered from colorectal cancer and wanted to die. Because I felt life was meaningless, I couldn't stand up or sit. When Jap Kiang Liu met the volunteers, he was like a drowning person grabbing onto something for dear life. For two years, the volunteers visited him once every two weeks and brought him diapers, daily goods, and financial help. After many therapies, his condition improved. He looked very skinny and weak when we first met him, but now he looks happy and spirited. He looks blessed. When I was in the hospital, I saw some kids who needed to be fed through tubes. Their condition was worse than mine. Now he is living near a graveyard, as Jack Kim Leung realized that life is impermanent while he was hospitalized. It has broadened his mind. We keep telling him to pray every morning and also making donations, as it is his blessing. Jack Kim Leung can only donate a few dollars every day, but the love he gives back to society is priceless, and it is also a blessing to himself. Many people, young and old alike, use hair dyes to look fashionable or younger. However, doctors suggest that people who have wounds on the scalp should avoid using hair coloring products. In addition, people should not dye their hair too frequently to ensure the health of their scalp. Here's more. Besides young people, many people who are 50 or older also dye their hair in order to look younger. I'm 
There is no need to wash the hair. The grease that our scalp produces is the protection layer. If one washes his hair, he will lose the natural grease that protects the scalp. An experienced hairstylist said that one must carefully choose the hair coloring product and check to see if the customer has any wounds on the scalp. In doing the coat perm, we must roll the rollers until they are tight. During the process, it is easy to injure the scalp, so we do not recommend using hair dye right away. One has to wait for 24 hours. Hair dyes are not for everyone. People with dermatitis, folliculitis or psoriasis could have allergic reaction to coloring products. Most people might feel itchy or experience swelling. In serious cases, there could be yellow fluid. Do not do it too frequently, just once every two months. Some people use hair dyes very frequently, and it could hurt their scalps. If they mix two coloring products, there could be chemical reactions. Hair turns gray as people age because their hair follicles cease to produce melanin, the pigment that gives hair its color. In addition, vitamin deficiency, stress, and smoking will also cause gray or white hair. Besides dyeing hair, there's the internet rumor that consuming potatoes can help the hair turn black. Potatoes contain a lot of nutrients and can be cooked in different ways. Nevertheless, nutritionists think there's no evidence that drinking potato water is useful. There's no evidence that drinking potato water can help our hair turn black. Food and Drug Administration has also posted a notice on its official site, telling the public not to trust rumors on the Internet to avoid hurting one's health. Experts suggest that people assess their skin conditions before they use hair dyes to ensure good health. Autism can be cured so far. However, through a variety of interventions and guidance, some children can make progress and improve. Additionally, about 5% of patients may have a special talent. Today, we meet an elementary school student in Taoyuan who has remarkable math ability. His talent in math is really quite amazing. His family is very supportive of him as his grandfather wants to break the stereotypes associated with autism. In addition, he's finding a new way to educate him. Here's our report. Hey, come on. What to be done? Whether it's straight, horizontal, or diagonal, these numbers are all quickly calculated by seven-year-old Bronson, who enjoys these multiplication tables. 二四为接六八为足左七右三上九下一五之中央。你怎么知道它的顺序要怎么排？嗯，你也曾经。对。As long as Bronson sees a math grid, he will never stop filling it out. He's not fascinated by the game itself, but some secrets behind it. I have seen the math books, and I have benefited from all of them. But once, once we realized that something, once we got them, once we convinced them that something was wrong, everybody helped. Bronson's father is a Canadian and teaches at the Taoyuan American School. His mother is also a teacher and the family is bicultural with two daughters. But the person who most often accompanies him is his grandfather, who is a retired civil servant. When he was three years and eight months old, we knew that he was autistic. In my heart, I struggled and constantly thought what was wrong. But my father is really strong and very stable and has been helping us. Countering such a child life is full of challenges. Grandfather said that one such challenge is going to school every day, which is just 15 minutes. If he took a wrong turn or there was a red light, he would feel anxious and go crying and screaming all the way home. Because of this, the grandfather developed a special plan to cope with this travel to school. If he took a wrong turn, he would be unhappy. So then I tried to do it on purpose. And if there was a red light, we would make a right turn and then a left turn. 
and after doing this 20 to 30 times, it wouldn't matter to him anymore. Research has proven that autism can be improved and a child's ability to adapt can improve as Bronson is a good example. Taiwan has a total of more than 13,000 people with autism, Asperger's disease, childhood disintegrative disorder, and a variety of developmental disorders which are referred to as autism. Of this number, about 5% have a special talent. But from where this talent comes from, modern medicine has yet to find the right answer. Meanwhile, the other 70% may need people to look after them. During the assessment and diagnosis process, the most severe are those who can't speak and are not able to communicate with their mother and father. Autism affects many people around us, and whether it's their own suffering or genetic or environment-induced, one key to diagnosis is seek the entire spectrum and using the eyes of these sufferers to see the world. The Qingai Music Orchestra, which is from Renai Township of Nantou, Taiwan, has won first prize among orchestras at the Summa Kulande Festival in Vienna. When their teachers, parents and peers at Qingai Elementary School learned about this good news, they all felt very proud. Many never imagined that an orchestra from a small tribal village can shine on the international stage. Nevertheless, the teachers reminded the students that their focus should be sharing music with more people. Here's more. Qingai Music Orchestra, which is from Renai Township of Nantou, has won the first prize among orchestras at the Summon Cum Laude Festival in Vienna. When we brought the students on this trip, we told them our focus is not on the competition but sharing music. Therefore, they were quite calm when the competition result was announced. For these children, sharing music means a lot more to them. They've also gained experience from performing on the streets. After we perform, people usually ask us where we are from. When we are able to say we are from Taiwan, we feel deeply moved. More than 2,000 people, including six orchestras, participated in the Youth Music Festival this year. As the students of Qingai Elementary School learned that their peers have won the first prize, they feel very proud. I think it is great that they have a stage where they can express their passion for music. The members of Qingai Music Orchestra are students or alumni from Qingai Elementary School. Shen Gu Jingxiang, whose grandchildren are its members, feels very happy and grateful. They were able to take the trip because many kind-hearted people helped them. Upon learning of this good news, the students at Qingai Elementary School are determined to practice even harder, sharing music with more people. In fact, Qingai villagers also dedicate themselves to making violins, which are used by Qingai Music Orchestra. Ms. Liao Shujin has handmade a violin that her youngest son, a member of Qingai Music Orchestra, performed with in Vienna. I'm very happy that he brought my violin and won such honor. It is the honor of our entire village. Since making a violin takes half a year, the villagers are making them during their spare time after work now. They hope that the violin making skills will be passed on to the next generation. I think this dream will come true when the children grow up and take over the responsibilities. To pass on experience, the parents, teachers, and even alumni have used their free time or summer to teach the younger students. We need to teach with patience. We hope they can be like the older students. I hope I can also compete internationally in the future, just like the older students. The children from this mountainous tribe have become famous, performing in other countries. What is more important is that they found self-confidence and a sense of achievement while sharing music. 
In our next report, we meet a 10-year-old boy who studies at Beitun Elementary School in Taichung, Taiwan. Lin Yi has been troubled by cerebral palsy since he was born premature, leading his limbs to suffer from muscle atrophy. Despite his mobility problems, he never gives in to his fate. He shows his music talent by composing songs and writing lyrics. His spirit and positive attitude have inspired his classmates. In addition, he has obtained a Presidential Education Award this year. Here's our report. After my water broke, I stayed in the hospital for two weeks. When he was born, he weighed only 1,285 grams. Being born premature when he was only seven months old, he had to stay in the incubator for 40 days. After we were released from the hospital, we rented the equipment and brought it home. His limbs were tied to the equipment because he often forgot to breathe. With his parents nurturing, this premature baby was able to grow. He sometimes asks me to act as a cat, dog, or even a dead person. <laughs> Lin Yi was born premature, leading him to suffer from severe muscle atrophy in his limbs. Despite his physical limitation, he uses his nimble fingers to produce music. Lin is only 10 years old, but he's good at writing songs. He has composed over 50 songs. Lin Yi composes songs and his father writes lyrics. This song is the gift presented to Lin's deceased grandmother. Lin's grandmother suffered dementia in her last years and always forgets everything. However, she never forgot her baby grandson. This led Lin to grow up in a loving environment since childhood. I feel physically tired and my whole life has also been restricted. This is what life looks like. You win some, you lose some. But I think I have learned a lot. Lin's father picked him up from school for many years. Although life is difficult, Lin is his father's sweetest burden. I'm gonna Lin Yi's music talent is the pride of his parents. Writing songs makes me feel relaxed. I think writing songs requires a lot of inspiration. Music not only helps him gain happiness, but it also allows him to forget the pain of rehabilitation. My classmates' limbs can bend and stretch nimbly, but I cannot make it. Despite his mobility problem, Lin's positive attitude has inspired his classmates. This year, Lin obtained the Presidential Educational Award. When we were young, it would be incredible if we obtained a principal's award. It's amazing that he obtained the Presidential Educational Award. Seeing that Lin Yi has grown up healthy and strong, his parents feel proud of him. It is hoped that in the future, Lin will continue to be brave and live a colorful life. In Malaysia, a city volunteer from the Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter usually helps people sew clothes at home. After learning that this chapter is going to establish a city international school in Kuala Lumpur, she teamed up with two other volunteers to sew special quotes for a charity sale. They'll donate the money they earn from selling these quotes to fund the new school. Making the beautiful quilt with small pieces of cloth, the G volunteer Mo Sui Fong personally sews a variety of special quilts to raise funds for the Ziji International School in Kuala Lumpur. I have made a variety of quilts. I also made this. It is very beautiful. This time I made a vow. I want to raise a total of 4,940 US dollars. In the beginning, a sister was surprised to hear this, and she said I was very brave. She asked how I could raise this money. Ms. Mu usually helps people sew clothes at home. To make sufficient quilts for the fundraising event, she has stopped doing her regular sewing work for nine months. She has also invited two volunteers to help. I want to finish sewing them as soon as possible. While we make each quilt, we feel like we are doing good deeds one after another. Although it takes a lot of effort to do this, we feel very happy to help out because it represents kindness for many people. This is a memorable experience. If Tsuji members, brothers or sisters, share these quilts with other people, then they'll remember it as they were made for that Tsuji school. You chose this for yourself. She likes this blue. I make this for her, and this is made by Sister Fuklin. 
Since she has the passion to do this, we feel impressed and want to support her. Each quilt is made with the love of volunteers. It is hoped that everyone's love will spread and bloom in the Zuji International School, just like the flowers on the quilts. In China, Gulangyi Island is known as the Garden of Fujian Xiamen. It attracts more than 10 million tourists a year. However, it also brings a lot of garbage. To solve this problem, the government of Fujian has been collaborating with Ziji to promote recycling since June of 2016. Let's take a look at a recent event. This is Gulangyu Island, which is 10 times smaller than Taiwan's Green Island. When the holiday arrives, this place is usually crowded with 50,000 to 100,000 tourists a day. Ziji volunteers are there to reverse the crisis brought by business opportunities. If you finish drinking the water in the plastic bottle, you can recycle the bottle because it can be used to make clothes and pants. We're hosting a charity activity right now. Some people may take a quick glance and then leave because many people are afraid that we'll ask them to buy something. They even think that environmental protection has nothing to do with them. It seems like they disdain this ideal. At this shop provided by the government, Ziji volunteers work shift to promote recycling every day. You can smell it. It is terrible, right? Because the disposable chopsticks must be processed. First, we need to cut down the trees to produce them. Cutting down trees is not environmentally friendly. Second, it must be processed with hydrogen peroxide solution, which is very terrible. Volunteers also promote recycling on the streets. <laughs> Over the past six months, some shops have started to recycle plastic bags. It's a pity if we throw away the plastic products into the trash can. It is not easy for plastic products to decompose. If we don't recycle them, our city will be surrounded by garbage in the future. Many office workers bring their own tableware to have lunch every day. If people throw away disposable tableware one after another, the amount of waste will be horrible. Especially in Gulangyu, many tourists here do something harmful to the environment. So we should start for ourselves to protect the environment. This street's painter no longer buys bottled water. Hey, I reduce buying plastic bottles. If we drink a bottle of water every day, it will be terrible. While everyone, including volunteers, shop owners, or even tourists, work together to safeguard the environments of Gulangyu, they also help share the beauty of this island with people around the world. City volunteers in Dallas, Texas, recently provided vegetarian lunches to the faculties of Barbara Jordan and Nancy Mosley Elementary Schools to appreciate their dedication to education. We'll leave you with these images at the end of our program. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye.